art is really important to the overall culture and vibrancy of the city. Cities are competing for residents, for businesses, for talent in ways they never have had to before. Having a great quality of life, art is really a big piece of that. Hi, I'm Debbie McNulty with the Mayor's Office of Cultural Affairs. These traffic signal control cabinets are commonly known as mini murals. And the cabinets are sort of an ordinary piece of municipal infrastructure turned into artistic canvases throughout our neighborhoods and communities. I really have to credit the city's uh, Department of Public Works and Engineering. They initiated this program, they'd seen it work in other cities as a graffiti deterrent and graffiti abatement tool. Fortunately, Up Art Studio came to the city at just the right time wanting to create this program here in Houston. So it was a beautiful opportunity of timing between the city and Up Art to put over 150 murals out in Houston's neighborhoods. There are so many wonderful artists. I think Anat Ronan, of course, was the first artist to do a project with the city. You're going to go see some projects by Pilot, and those are fantastic. All of the artists are really responsive to their site. I think that they're looking for an idea, an image that works with the context where they're being asked to create something. For me, this project is really um, important because it goes places that art really doesn't seem to be along there, and then when we do it, it suddenly it transforms the, the space completely and brings art to those who probably never seen it before. My name is Anat Ronan, and I'm an artist. Public art's important to me, it's always been important. As an artist, you have a responsibility to the public to put things there that they want to see and that you want to show them is more important. My name's Pilot FX, I'm an artist. The designs that are picked for each box is really a long process of first getting picked to be um, adequate for, for that particular client or that particular district. When we actually go to a box, the renderings have already been approved. We know exactly what we're supposed to paint and we have an obligation to be within 80% of the rendering, um, which allows us a little bit of artistic freedom. Sometimes you get to a box and you have to figure it out how you're gonna execute your design. It's definitely not easy. It's not as easy as it seems. We made like a few boxes together and it depends. Some, some places like here, they were very specific on the theme. So we were pretty much restricted. They wanted retro, they wanted aerospace kind of theme. The shuttle pilot came with the design. Uh, there was the zoo one that we created, that, that was a fun, that was our first collaboration. We play to each other's strong suits. You know, some of the stuff that she's faster at because she uses brushes, I'll be faster with the opposite stuff because I'm using spray paint. With us working together, we're able to knock one of these out in about half a day usually. So for us to be able to do that, it's really fun, it's enjoyable. There's thousands of boxes all over the city of Houston and then hopefully it'll expand from there to other cities and other areas. It's quite amazing to see people who never were exposed to public art and then they get to see it, you know, happening in front of their eyes and they're just enchanted, you know, so it's, it's that little magic that they take away from it. The idea that it, it really is open to the community to have more art in our neighborhoods, that working with public and private partnership is a great way to bring artists into the public realm, get their art out on the street, and create a lot of joy, wonder, surprise, and even humor.